what is up everyone so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to uh create um post processing lightings inside of your gorilla tech fan game so if we go over to my uh to my main scene uh real quick that was just my tutorial scene so this is what my main scene looks like it looks absolutely amazing obviously it's really bright right now because i'm messing around with the settings but yeah, it looks absolutely amazing, and uh, yeah, so let's go back on over to our tutorial, and just delete all of this real quick, okay? So now, once we have done that, what we want to do is go on over here, and let's make this box a little bit bigger, so, you know, we have enough space to put the gorilla rig, so let's transform this a little bit boom and let's make this pitch black and boom okay so over here you can see uh, let's move this up so it doesn't mess up anything okay so over here you can see we have some neon colors which I'm gonna teach you guys how to do so what you want to do is click create Go over to material, n like make it any color you want. I'm just gonna keep it white. Go over to stand, just search up standard right here and click unlit, and then just drag it onto, um, you know, whatever post you want or whatever you want. So on your gorilla rig, which I'm gonna put in right now, you could see. Uh, let's just turn it like I don't know, negative 90 degrees and make sure it gets everything so there it is so what we are going to do is go on over to uh just right click on your gorilla rig click prefab unpack unpack completely and then go over to window go to package manager s switch this to unity registry and then search up post processing and then just install it it might take a little bit and then yeah should be done now go over here to your main camera go on over to add component go to post process layer and then uh, on your main camera what you want to do is add a layer named uh, post processing so it's post with a capital P space processing with a capital P and then click know this object only layer and then it says right here it says layer just switch that to post processing and then what you want to do is add component again and then search up post process volume switch this to is global and then what you want to do is just uh, just go over to your assets right click click create post process profile so let's just name this profile go over to main camera drag this on in there and the essentials you're really gonna have are bloom chromatic aberration vigent or however you you know pronounce that auto exposure and color grading so uh, let's go over to our profile here and then just add all of those effects that I just named and then copy all of these settings So once you have done that, let me just drag it onto, you know, right there. So once you have it right here, what you are going to do is just go over to your game and then you will see it looks so cool. Like it just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I absolutely recommend this for your Gorilla Tag fan game because it is like just cool to have but that's not all on the tutorial what you want to do is go over to window go over to uh, rendering lighting and then stay in scene just go over to your assets right click and then create a new lighting settings and then just name it whatever you want and then drag it up to here and click generate lighting uh, it should take just a little bit and then soon your scene will look like my scene uh everyone have an amazing day and uh 
yeah, goodbye. Like and subscribe if, you know, this was helpful.